Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for, I don't even know, around the 6th, around, I think, I don't know, my calendar's not turned over and my camera, I can't see the date on my phone, so, whenever it resonates, okay? So, let's just see what comes up. What do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? No, I did not get my hair cut. I just pushed it back. What do we, and I do this quite often. Quite often, I just wear it back. So anyhow, what do we have for a message today? What do we have for a message today? the chariot the chariot so that is taking a ride taking a journey uh, taking the lead willpower discipline to take charge to take the reins so we got somebody here that is taking the driver's seat they're taking the, the wheel it's like I'm taking the wheel so somebody is taking the wheel they're traveling traveling uh, in a new direction they're traveling somewhere going somewhere Mm. We have an ending. We have a major ending. This is the end of something. Both of these cards are symbols of transformation. You know, this is the death card. And the chariot and the death card both represent transformation. So we have a major transformation here. We have somebody here that is uh, leaving the past behind for, for real. This is like, it's the complete end. Eight of Cups, goodbye. This is goodbye. It is. This is a necessary uh, altercation because there's emotional unfulfillment. So somebody is leaving an emotionally unfilling, unfulfilling situation. They're going somewhere. They're definitely traveling. They're taking the wheel. This is somebody that is fearless. It's time for a change. Death is change. It's a major change. They're both majors. So this is definitely a major change. Profound. And the chariot is like a journey, right? It is, because that's a vehicle that takes a journey and the death is an end. So this is like we've been talking about. It's the end of a journey. But we do have a person that is getting in the driver's seat. This is somebody that is leaving. Seven of Swords. This is making an exit. This is an escape or, or getting taken away even. I mean, it looks like, I don't know. It looks like we have somebody here that is getting caught. You know? It looks, I don't know if somebody has cheated or they've gotten caught doing something and maybe that's what's caused an ending. But the Seven of Swords is uh, deception, betrayal, Lies. Two of Cups. Two of Cups is a union. It's a partnership. Somebody has been, and this could, there could be some, even some self deception here with the Seven of Cups. But we in this this two of cups is going underneath that death card and right next to the seven of swords. So we have somebody here that is it's time. I see this clock. That's a big clock. It means it's time. It's time to leave. It's time to leave. Somebody may be hearing those words. It's time for you to go. You gotta get your shit and you gotta leave. You know, or they may be choosing to leave because of some cheating or some deception. But this is definitely about a partnership. 
We have the end of a partnership, but you know, the death card endings always lead to new beginnings. So we do have a new beginning here. We do. Let me, uh, I need to get, I need to shed some light over here. Sorry. Seven of Swords. We got, we got a very sneaky individual. I don't know if this person has traveled somewhere and they've gotten caught. So it feels like we have somebody here that is, has, has gotten caught doing something. And with a, with a, I don't know if this is a new partner or another partner, but we have, do have Cupid that is bringing two people together because you see up at the top there. So everything happens for a reason. This is a union. It is a partnership that's very compatible. Obviously, these two people have a lot in common. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is ending something where, they, and it could be self-deception with the Seven of Swords. Maybe they were lying about, oh God, lying about something. That clock resembles time. It's time to move on. Chariot is moving on. There's about to be a major change, okay? Somebody is, I don't know if they're moving, move, but they're definitely moving towards a partnership. You know, endings lead to new beginnings. They do. We also have the end of a partnership here. There's some sort of deception, which I already said, but it's pretty darn clear that there is. I think we have a, a feminine here who is pissed, just saying, she's pissed. Three of Swords, heartbreaking. This is a, I don't know if you can see it with the light now. This is a heartbreaking situation, stabbed right in the heart, heart pain, grieving, separation, loss. This is a heartbreaking transformation. It is. Somebody uh, has done something that is heartbreaking. And I feel like they've gotten caught or they're about to get caught. Right after the Two of Cups is the Sun card, which is a new life. This is the beginning of a new life. This is a breakthrough. It's a new day. It's a new tomorrow. This is the sun coming out again tomorrow. A new beginning. This is the birth of a new life. This is happiness right next to the Two of Cups. We do have somebody here that is, is and, and you know, the Seven of Cups could be breaking free. I mean, the Seven of Swords from, from self-deception. We definitely have moving, finding the willpower and the discipline and the strength, mastering emotion, emotions, taking the wheel, traveling towards some place, traveling towards a partnership that is very compatible, traveling toward warmth, okay, because the sun is warmth, a warm, happy place. There is definitely some travel here. Somebody is headed right towards a union that can bring them extreme happiness. And it's heartbreaking. It is. When you have to make that move to have victory in your life, it's heartbreaking. And the chariot is victory after somebody decides to master their emotions and replace their fear with faith and just go. So somebody is taking the high road. And I feel like in the Seven of Swords can be slipping, sneaking away. It can be, can be so much. I feel like we have somebody here that has been ignoring, ignoring their feelings. Um, they've been having a hard time leaving because of fear. We have the King of Wands in reverse on the bottom. That's fear. That's fear. That's lack of confidence, lack of willpower. Um, 
no strength angry too and you know things will boil over in and uh you know, when you bury those feelings, they come to a point where they, they burst. I wonder if there's an outburst ahead. There could be an outburst ahead. We, I feel like we have somebody here that is not, you know, they lack, they lack a, a passion, you know, they lack drive, they lack ambition. That's where they've been. I feel, I feel like we have somebody here that, uh, has been really struggling with finding their confidence to leave. King of Wands revert. This is like angry, upset, very, very, very upset. I feel like we have somebody here that is going through some sort of upset. But they are headed towards a lot of happiness with that sun card. That's extreme, ha a, a, an extremely happy partnership, okay? There's somebody here that is headed towards an extremely par happy partnership. But this goes, this was like this. So the death card is before it. So the, there's an ending that leads to a beautiful union. The sun is beautiful. The two of cups is a union. So an ending that leads to a beautiful union, okay? So we do have an ending that leads to a beautiful union. But there's been some sort of deception. There's been lies. There's been, uh, I don't know if there's been cheating or something like that. This is angry, upset. Could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Cancer. The Empress reversed. We have somebody here that is not very loving. It looks like it's a feminine. Okay, it's a feminine energy. This is somebody that doesn't take care of the person that they're supposed to take care of. They probably don't take care of themselves very well either, or they're very self-centered. They're too focused on themselves. It could be somebody that is very self-absorbed, not very loving, not very gentle, does not offer unconditional love. This is somebody that... Uh, loves with conditions, right? This is a lack of growth, um, mean-spirited, materialistic individual. That's the Seven of Wands, not the Seven of Swords, because the Seven of Swords is right here. So here's your deception. We have a fight. We do have a fight. That Seven of Wands is a battle. We have a fight here. We have somebody here that has been put on into a very tough position they have and they've reached i feel like they've reached a breaking point where they can't do this anymore that's why the king of wands was reversed this is deception checkmate game over i think we have a, a feminine energy here who isn't very loving okay this person does not take care of things. There's going to be a, some sort of battle. There is. Somebody is going to be put in a tough position where they need to make a decision about happiness. And I feel like it's because they, they are definitely in a very tough position. Somebody is in a tough position. And it's almost like... Game over, whatever that means, game over. Three of Pentacles, we've had this a lot. This is about teamwork, togetherness, respect, working together. We have somebody here that, I feel like we have a third party situation here. Somebody has been just trying to choose which option to go in. They can choose. This is the story, too. This is absolutely the story. Four of Wands. There's going to be a get-together. There's going to be a reunion. We have a reunion here. A reunion between soulmates. 
a reunion between two people that are meant to be together. We do. But we have an individual that has been in a tough position trying to, uh, I don't know, fight change. Because the Seven of Wands is about fighting and behind it is two change cards. Somebody's been fighting change. They've been fighting an ending of a partnership because why? Because they didn't want to move? Because they had fear? The, the King of Wands reverse, very fearful. Fearful of change. But there's happiness in the future with that Sun card. A lot of it. This is a beautiful new day. This is a beginning, a new beginning. This is a breakthrough. It's happiness, joy, a joyful union, a joyful partnership where there is mutual love and respect. And these two people have a lot in common. I think there is there is Cupid that is bringing two people together, but it does come after an ending. And it is a big one because death is a major ending. This is traveling, moving. Somebody could be moving. It feels like they're being... I feel like they're almost, it's almost like they're being told to go. You're done. That kind of thing. By this woman, and I feel like there's a feminine, and it doesn't have to, I feel like it's a feminine energy woman that doesn't really love them. And I feel like this woman is pissed. She's pissed. She may have another partner. You know, she may have another partner. This is the end of a journey. We've been talking about this. We have. It does lead to extreme happiness. It's very similar to yesterday's. The sun is extreme happiness and so isn't the four of wands. This is a new commitment. It is a commitment. It is, it's a new beginning. It is a foundation. It's a happy foundation. We have a get together. Somebody is going to be getting together with a partner that they can have. It's almost like extended happiness with two of cups in the sun card i mean come on now this is a perfect match it really 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 is this is like heaven okay it really is take a look at the flowers i mean it looks like heaven to me it's a heavenly situation partnership these two people have a lot in common but there is a feminine here that is uh, really causing problems right next to the seven of wands this this feminine is very combative okay and maybe that's why this person has stayed put very combat selfish we have a selfish feminine here who uh, does not really love, okay? She, she doesn't. Judgment reverse. Moving on from that poor choice. This is uh, a life-changing decision. Some. This is not waking up. I'm not sure. There, there could be an actual... I don't know, there could be an actual death. I mean, I hate to say that. But there could be somebody that is reuniting with a soulmate from their past life, you know, in heaven. Just saying, I'm sorry. Um, but this is heaven sent. This is a heavenly connection here. This is. Judgment is a card of absolution. Lack of truth. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. We have an individual who hasn't been telling the truth. They are guilty. They're guilty of something. Two of Pentacles. This is a choice. Definite on the bottom, making a choice. Somebody is making a choice right now. And this is a realignment. This is the universe, this is the geometric powers that are realigning somebody. We have an individual that has been juggling two, they've been juggling two, you know, two 
and Magellan too, and they have been struggling to make a choice. They haven't been being honest. They haven't been telling the truth. And now it's time. It's time to move on from that bad choice with a feminine that is very self-absorbed and selfish and not very loving. Judgment reversed. Poor judgment call. Somebody has made a poor judgment call. Now they just want happiness. They want a better life. They want a union where there's reciprocation and it's easy, you know? This is moving on from a poor choice. This is about balance. There's going to be a rebalancing as well. We also have some karma here. I feel like we have somebody here that has been in a karmic contract with a feminine that really caused them a lot of strife, right? The seven of wands is strife. This, 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 that's karma. That's when somebody makes a poor judgment call because of all the wrong reasons. They will continue to have that strife in their life until they find the mental strength to move on. Strength is one of our life lessons in this lifetime. To leave things behind that don't serve us, not to stay in it just because it's comfortable. If there's no love there because, you know, I don't see any love in these cards. There is in the future. The Two of Cups and the Sun card, that is love. That's a union. That is a partnership that can bring a lot of happiness after death. We have the end of a partnership where there was no truth. There was dishonesty because it, 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 the end, the Two of Cups and the Judgment card reversed. There's... there's uh, a lack of acceptance underneath the death card is the empress reversed so this is like uh, the end of a loveless situation where there's no growth there's no there's no abundance right there's no love and and cupid will step in and bring two people together you know because you're supposed to be loved and you're supposed to be abundant and you have to find the strength to get in the driver's seat and go towards that love so anyhow oh god two of pentacles we have somebody here that has been trying to decide which is the best option they've been going back and forth back and forth staying in this tough position with a woman or a feminine that has really uh, caused them a lot of karmic lessons. This woman is self-absorbed and selfish. She's selfish. She does not love. Anyhow, She's mean-spirited. She's all about herself. Seven of Pentacles. Reverse. Not worth it anymore. This is a dead end. It's time to relocate. I think we have a relocation here. It's time to go. This is a dead end. There's no growth. There's no reason to invest in this. I think we have somebody here that is giving up. They're not putting in any more effort. Okay. Eight of Pentacles reverse. That's giving up, but it's not working out. It's not working out. This isn't working out. This is short-lived success. Somebody invested in something where it didn't grow because the feminine that they were dealing with was too self-centered, materialistic, and self-absorbed. I feel like we have somebody here that is relocating. They're moving on from a bad choice and they are moving right towards happiness. Could be even self-love, but I do feel like there's a partnership here in the future because of that two of cups and right next to the sun card. That is a beautiful new beginning. It's a new day. It's a new life. It's a life-giving energy. It's a higher vibration. You know, it's a yes answer. So somebody maybe may have stayed put where they're at because they felt like they weren't going to be accepted by a new partner. There's acceptance here. There is some sort of acceptance here. 
Anyhow, get prepared for a major life change. Somebody is leaving a situation that has been very stressful with that seven of wands they they've been having to battle and having to fight this is giving up it's i'm give up i'm not doing this anymore and so anyway that is what i got so good luck